All right, this is a Lego chipper. I don't know if it's the first because there's so many Lego builders all over the world, but if it is not the first, it's one of the few. A real chipper is basically just has a wheel that weighs three to 500 pounds that has blades on it that aren't very sharp, but they're hard because wood is hard and they chop the wood against a chop block. Inside here, this is a weighted wheel. If you see that little circular divot, that's a boat weight from old Lego sets. And then these right here are sharp Lego bricks. I don't know how much this wheel weighs, but it's heavy. And when it spins, it, it spins past this chop block, which has pretzels in it. So when I turn this on, it's heavy. And then right here, I have a transmission that either makes the uh, wheel go forward or reverse so this is reverse you can look at the wheel now it's reversing now if I engage it so it's pulling in pretzels now we get to have fun and make a mess and as as it chops more pretzels it starts to slow down so you release it and let it catch, catch up speed just like a real chipper and then you can feed it now this can take bigger pretzels, but it has to take them slower. As you can see, a part just flew off, but it's nothing important right now. So let's just have more fun. And they're getting the living daylight sounded out of them. Now up here is the motor. This is just a motor on basically like a pendulum. It's a motor on a fulcrum. And when I have it up, nothing is connected, so I can turn the motor on, nothing happens, but then when I drop it, it puts tension on that belt, and it turns the big wheel, and in the front, you have a chain that drives the mechanism that, that uh, connects it to the wheel back here. Let's see if anything got stuck, I could just do this and it would reverse it. So all that's left to do this is I have to get a chute that channels it into a dump truck in front of it, which I'm working on. Now the other features of this chipper are uh, shock absorbers because this thing's heavy and a chipper needs shock absorbers too and in the back we have a door that closes and shuts the uh, chipper that I used to work that I used to use years ago you put the, co the cones that you you put on the road you put them in here shut the door and you're done thanks for watching